In this video, we take a look at 10 British watch brands that you should know. Let's get started. Kicking off today's list, we have Farrer. This is an independent British watchmaker that was founded in 2015. One of their founders, Paul Sweetenham, worked as a watch buyer for a duty-free company. The other founders all had experience in business and marketing too. Together, they combined to create a new and exciting British watch brand. Farrer watches are designed in London, England, which then sees life by being produced in Bien, Switzerland, allowing them to earn the prestigious Swiss made badge at the bottom of the dial. Their first models consisted of quartz watches. However, after just a year of production, Vera entered the enthusiast world by releasing its very first automatic watch. These early models were made of pure bronze, which patinas and ages with use. One thing that is very clear to see with this brand is their dedication to be different. Each and every design is original and daringly unique. Vera only produces their watches in small batch runs, meaning that they have total control over their supply chain. Consequently, Vera watches hold their price very well on the secondary market. Although this is a very young British brand, their unique designs and flamboyant use of colour means that they have captured the watch enthusiast world. Next up we have Marlow Watch Company, which is an independent watch brand based in Scotland that was founded in 2015. Story goes, founder Oliver Coff replaced the battery inside his dead quartz watch. He was disappointed when he opened up his timepiece to find a tiny plastic quartz movement inside of it. In that moment he was inspired to create something better, something that wasn't so heartless. But he he couldn't do this alone. He went in search of a partner. Soon he found Gordon Fraser, an experienced industrial designer. Together they agreed to create a watch with the same principles at the forefront. The watch had to be well designed, feature a mechanical beating heart, and cost the price of a high street fashion watch. Within 12 months the first Marlow mechanical watch was born. Early models were a success and allowed the founders to continue to innovate and push the boundaries further. Today Marlow sells a range of different watches, all featuring unique designs and a nice splash of colour too. And even even though the company has seen success, they still stick to those original principles. The watches are very well designed, feature mechanical movements and still compete with the prices of the high street brands. Okay, so coming up next we have Mr. Jones Watches, who produces the most unusual watches on today's list, which are designed and built in the UK. The founder Crispin Jones was born in London, England, where he has lived his whole life. He wanted to bring the production of watches back to the UK. His goal is to create the most unique and creative wrist watches possible, often collaborating with illustrators and artists to achieve the ultimate artistic wristwatch. Each and every colour found on a Mr. Jones watch is printed individually, which is truly a fascinating process to witness. It's not just as simple as pressing print on a machine. These timepieces take time and effort to produce. Their watches are proudly assembled in London, where a team of talented watchmakers bring these flamboyant designs to life. Each and every Mr. Jones watch has its own identity. It's almost like wearing a piece of modern art on your wrist. The majority of Mr. Jones watches feature fun and bright colours making the watches stand out on the wrist and start conversations. Their goal is to produce something different that is distinctively a Mr. Jones watch. They've achieved this and much more. If you're enjoying this video so far, please do me a big favour and leave a like rating. It really helps me to produce videos just like this one. Coming up next, we have Bramont. Founded in 2002, this is an award-winning brand producing chronometer-grade watches in England. In the 1990s, founders Nick and Giles were flying across France in their vintage 1930s biplane. A bad engine for an emergency landing inside of a farmer's field. The farmer welcomed them into his home. Laid around his home were half restored wall clocks and lots of engine parts for aircrafts. It turned out that the farmer was a pilot during the war. And after the great hospitality, Nick and Giles promised to repay his kindness. The farmer's name was Antoine Bramont. This is where the founders found inspiration for not only the name of the brand, but also the designs too. Bramont primarily designs aviation style watches produced for pilots. Their designs are clean, classic, and effortlessly classic. Nothing flashy or over the top can be found in these watches. Everything is kept simple and confidence is taken in the details. Bramont watches sell for upwards of £3,000, making them a British luxury watch brand. Finally, and probably most prestigious, Bramont is the official supplier of wristwatches for the Ministry of Defence. So next to feature in today's video is the Cabot Watch Company, a British watchmaker founded in 1972, making it the oldest watch brand on today's list. This is a manufacturer specialising in producing watches for the military. In fact, Cabot has been supplying watches to the forces for over 40 years. CWC has produced hundreds of thousands of watches for this purpose over this time. In fact, CWC won the contract for these military watches that had formerly been produced by Rolex with its Milsub model. Their most popular model, the G10, is a classically styled field watch of course made to the military specification. Everything about their watch is produced for function, long lasting materials, water resistance and most importantly, affordable to produce. Therefore, Cabot's watches are also very affordable to purchase. Cabot no 
longer produces watches for the military. However, their original design language that made them so popular is still present to this day. Modern models are still built with the same military specification as the ones that were worn on the battlefield by British military personnel. If you want a British watch rich in history and prestige, Cabot Watch Company is the way to go. Next up on today's list, we have Duckworth Prestex. And although this sounds like a relatively new watch brand, it has history linking back to 1869. Founder Neil Duckworth was in fact the man who brought the huge Swiss brand Tag Heuer to the United Kingdom in the 1980s. Neil's family firm, Preston's, was founded in 1869. By the 1920s, the company was producing its very own pocket watch under the Prestex name, which achieved success all over the globe. Over the preceding decades, Prestex produced pocket watches, chronographs, and some elegant dress watches too. However, when Neil's father took over the business, he slowed down the production of Prestex watches and started to sell Rolex, Hoyer, and Omega watches instead. Preston's is still a huge business to this day, selling diamonds, Patek Philippe, and Rolex watches. However, Neil made the bold decision to relaunch his family's business of producing their own watches. Duckworth produces very well-priced timepieces that have their very own design language. Surprisingly, not based on the original watches from the past, but instead very contemporary offerings that look modern and exciting. So although this watch brand doesn't have the prestige of others, Neil's family's name certainly has a prestigious history in the watchmaking business. Coming up next, we have Isotope, founded in England in 2016. This is a watch brand with special designs that are unlike anything else. Interestingly, the founders Jose and Joanna are from Portuguese heritage, but based the business out of the United Kingdom. They combine traditional watchmaking with original designs, but take a boutique approach. The Isotope logo is a story in itself. The logo is designed to represent a clock pointing at seven o'clock, which is considered by numerology experts as being a favorite number across the world's population. Also considered by many cultures to be good fortune and unification. Isotope watches sell for around 1,000 pounds. Although if you're willing to spend 2,000, you can get a special one of one piece. The designs are very out there, modern and eye-catching, with the use of bright colored bezels, unique large hands and original dial layouts. In 2013, Isotope collaborated with NASA to produce a special model, which features a fully loom dial and enthusiast pleasing specifications. This represents what the brand is all about. Modern designs with fun ideas. Isotope is without question an up and coming watch brand that we should keep our eye on. Next, Bucroft is a British watch micro brand from Cambridge, England. Matt and Kareem, the founders of Bucroft, found friendship through their love for wristwatches. Together, they decided to start their own watch brand. The name Bucroft is a combination of the words beautiful creation of time. Their dress watches are indeed beautiful, classically designed, yet somehow have a modern aesthetic too. Dress watches are usually plain Jane, simple colours and minimal fuss. However, Bucroft somehow manages to make the dials look incredibly interesting. I don't know whether it's the use of classy colours or the odd shape for the 12 hour markers, but there is something just so attractive about the watches that they produce. Bucroft are proudly British and proudly represent their hometown of Cambridge. In fact, Bucroft is the official partner of the University of Cambridge. This modern brand represents equality, stating that their watches are unisex and uniquely designed that way too. It's clear that the principles of this brand are very progressive and represent respect and class. Best part? Well, these stunning dress watches only cost £375. They feature a perfect 40mm case diameter with a sapphire crystal, making this young, exciting micro brand a sure future favourite amongst affordable watch collectors. Okay, so next up on today's list, we have Anne Ordain, a watch micro brand based in Glasgow, Scotland. What makes this brand so special is their use of materials. Anne Ordain is a manufacturer that exclusively uses enamel dials. Now, this is incredibly special in the wristwatch world as the cost to produce enamel dials is high. However, Anne Ordain not only does this, but does it to perfection. Creating an enamel dial takes them 12 hours of very skilled work. This leads to a stunning product with mesmerizing dials that are unlike anything else you'll find. Anne Ordain assembles and regulates every single watch in-house. Even the unique skeletonized syringe hands are designed and finished in-house too. They exclusively use Swiss automatic movements inside their watches, leading to high accuracy and the trust that comes from Swiss production. However, all of the artistic side of the brand is done in-house in Scotland. The team consists of 15 very talented and knowledgeable professionals who you can individually read about on their official website. Of all the micro brands coming out of Great Britain, Anne Ordain is without question one of the most exciting and definitely absolutely beautiful. Last but certainly not least, our last brand today is Christopher Ward, probably the biggest name in modern watchmaking coming out of Britain. Christopher Ward was founded in 2004. It was the first online-only watchmaker selling their watches directly to the customer. Although the watches are designed in Britain, the watches are made in Switzerland to ensure the highest level of quality. In recent years, Christopher Ward has moved from being a micro brand to being 
a full-scale independent watchmaker, selling tens of thousands of watches per year. Their cutting-edge designs and enthusiast-driven features make them a favourite in the watch community. It feels like they really have a finger on the pulse of what the people want, and execute this very well. One of their newest models, the Belcanso, is a huge step for the brand. This is a wristwatch that features a chiming mechanism, similar to the classic minute repeater complication, which makes this Christopher Ward one of the only watches offering this type of feature around this price point. This is a huge and exciting step forward for the brand, moving away from being a startup brand to competing with the world's best. It goes without question that Christopher Ward makes some of the best value for money watches in the world. The finishing, stylish design and constant innovation makes Christopher Ward a brand heading in the right direction, with watches for everyone to enjoy. If you liked this video and want to learn more about other watch brands, be sure to watch my video here on screen on 10 Japanese watch brands that you should know.